Hey Valley, tonight we're going to have a review lesson on classifying quadrilaterals and identifying them. Before we do that, let's start with a rock and roll trivia question. Who is Reginald Dwight? I think you'll know him by a different name. Again, this would be a good one to ask your parents tonight. Then you can say, yeah, I actually learned something from Mr. Dudley. All right, here we go. The official target tonight is 10.6a. I can identify and classify quadrilaterals. Let's do this thing. Uh, you can't find the link, so I'm going to have to go up this way. Sorry about that, folks. I can see it, though. Uh, very simple question. What kind of quadrilateral is this window? Hmm. All right. Well, let me just take and slide away this image here and give you a better look at it. It's upside down. We don't usually see them this way, but it's still a trapezoid. A trapezoid has two parallel lines or one set of parallel lines. The other set is not parallel. So there we have a trapezoid. Tonight's target is going to be all about identifying different quadrilaterals and seeing if we can actually, by the end of the lesson, your ticket will be to give me some definitions. All right, here are some definitions right here, the official definitions. First of all, quadrilateral, a figure with four sides and four angles. And we named quadrilaterals based upon their sides and angles. Um, start off with this little one right here. Here's the quadrilateral. It's just a... Sh uh, a shape with four sides. Um, here's a quadrilateral with one set of parallel lines, exactly one set, and that is called a trapezoid. Notice that it's exactly one set, because if it's at least one set, then this would be a trapezoid, but it's not. A trapezoid has exactly one set. All right, then we get into kind of a large group here called parallelograms. Now, a parallelogram has two pairs of uh, congruent and parallel sides. Notice the little arrow here, an arrow and an arrow showing that these two are parallel and then this little tick and this little tick show that they're the same length. So they're congruent. They're parallel and they're congruent which means the same length. Over here the same way. Two little arrows showing that these this set of lines is parallel and the two little ticks saying that they are both congruent. So parallelogram, two sets of parallel lines, two sets of congruent sides, and they are opposite one another. Well, would that make this a parallelogram? Yes, a rectangle is a parallelogram, but it's a parallelogram with four right angles. See what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So last year in fifth grade and the year before in fourth grade, we had just basic definitions of these things. Now we're really starting to see how connected they actually are. All right. All right. Square. Everybody knows. But the square is really a parallelogram. You know, opposite sides are equal. Two sets of parallel lines. Right. It is a parallelogram. But it's a special parallelogram that has four right angles, like a rectangle, and four congruent sides. That's what makes it special. All right? Or that's what makes it special. <laughs> a little George Bush for you. Uh, all right. And then finally, we have a rhombus. And that is simply a parallelogram with congruent sides. So no right angles, but still congruent. I always say it's like a square that is ready to parte. It is going to rhombus tonight. Uh, I have no idea what that means, but it's fun to say. All right. There is one other figure that we're going to add to the picture, and you may have had it if you had an awesome fifth grade teacher like I was. We have a kite. Uh, a kite is a four-sided shape, a flat shape, a quadrilateral, and has two pairs of sides. And each pair of sides, the adjacent sides, are the same length. They're congruent. Look at So it has congruent sides, but they're adjacent, which means next to each other. And here's the other set. See the one tick showing that these two are congruent and these two are congruent. So that's called a kite. And again, here is just mentioning that these diagonals, the dashed lines, meet at a right angle and one of the diagonals bisects it. Kind of cool, huh? How they meet at the right angle in the middle, but they're bisecting it. All right. You ready to try some of these things? I think you are. Let's start off with something. No, let's do nine of them in a row. Let's go. All right, identify this quadrilaterals, one, two, and three. All right, let's see how you did. First one, rectangle. Ding, ding, ding. Second one, 
trapezoid, one exactly one set of parallel lines. Very good. Parallelogram, two sets of parallel lines, opposite one another, and those sides opposite are congruent. So weird. Let's try another one. Three more. Boom. Take some time. Really? All right. This one here is a kite. It has congruent sides, two sets of congruent sides, but they are adjacent next to each other, not opposite. There they are. Here's a square, all four sides. Notice the one little tick showing that all four sides are congruent or the same. And here we have a rhombus. A rhombus. Four congruent sides, but they are not at right angles. All right. Some people confuse this as a for a kite, but a kite has two sets of sides that are the same length and they're adjacent. See, this is two ticks, which shows that this side is a different length than this side. Here, they all have one little tick showing that all those sides are equal in length. That's the difference. So don't let that one throw you. All right, I think I got one more. Well, maybe two. We'll treat you tonight. <laughs> all right, this one here, what is it? Oh, take a look at uh, seven, eight, nine. Go. All right, let's see how you did. Parallelogram. Ding, ding. Rectangle. Sweet. There's another kite. Great. Let's try three more and then I'll get you out of here. Go. Sweet. All right. What'd you get? Trapezoid? Very good. Did you call this one here a kite? I hope not. It's a rhombus. Again, notice that the sides are all congruent. It has one little tick mark showing that they are all the same length. And of course, there's the square. All right, here's your ticket to the show. A little bit different ticket. I'm sorry, I'm going to make you work a little bit, but it was a short lesson. Please define these shapes using mathematical vocabulary. Parallelogram, rhombus, kite, trapezoid. You might want to even go on back to this one here and take a look at it. I'll just freeze there for a minute so you can pause it. And then I'll freeze here. Try to use some of those words, please. All right, thanks. Here's your uh, answer to your trivia question tonight. Who is Reginald Dwight? It's Elton John. Here's the way he looks right now. This is uh, in his heyday, what he looked like. Hey, what is the deal with hats and big glasses? Uh, this is not one of his prouder moments, but he was always kind of a weird dresser. Uh, yeah, playing Benny and the Jets in a duck suit. Say what? Uh, anyway, Sir Elton John, that's who he is. Your parents will know him, but ask him, hey, do you know Elton John's real name? And they'll say, oh, oh, let me see. And you say, Reginald Dwight. Or if you really want to impress him, give him the middle name, Reginald Kenneth Dwight. Have a good night. Thanks for listening.